Spring is finally here. As the flowers start to bloom, it's the perfect time for getting your home organized and looking beautiful. Home improvement expert Elizabeth Hart joins us with some great practical ideas to get us motivated. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing today? Hey, Cody. I'm great. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. You know, it was uh, raining here a little bit, but now all of a sudden the sun's coming out. So maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a long, hard winter for all of us, right? So it's nice to think about being able to spend a little bit of time outdoors. And, and that's a little bit about what I'm going to talk about today. Um, you know, one of the easiest ways to make your house look better and feel better is with some heavy-duty spring cleaning. So one of the three brands that I've teamed up with today to help you get your house in tip-top condition is Clorox. And when I start my cleaning ritual, and I'll call it a ritual because I have a, just a touch of OCD when it comes <laughs> yeah. to cleaning, um, yeah, I yeah. start with Clorox because... You know, you want to make sure it's clean, right? Get rid of all those germs. Of course. Well, they have a newer product, and it's called Clorox Sentiva, uh, and it's specifically formulated for bathrooms. So it combines the trusted Clorox power, but it gives your bathroom this really, really supreme clean. And, of course, it gets rid of that nasty soap scum. But the best part with this product is not only does it clean, but it smells amazing. Sentiva really kind of transforms the room and gives it a scent experience. And you can choose from scents like Pacific Breeze and Coconut and Tuscan Lavender and Jasmine. It makes cleaning, if, if it's possible, a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah. And uh, Sentiva is sold everywhere. You can check out all the products at Clorox.com. Yeah, I mean, Clorox is a big thing. I use those Clorox wipes. You use those a lot? Um, yes, absolutely. When necessary, you know, and if you have a situation where if you've been handling raw meat on the countertop or something like that, you just want to make sure you don't contaminate anything else that's coming down the line. So yeah. it's a good tool to have in your house. Well, that's some good advice. What else do I need to get the house ready for spring coming up here? Well, I know you guys up there in northeastern Pennsylvania have had a, a brutal winter that yes. went on way too long. Yes, we have. So everybody, everybody's dying to get outdoors. The thing is, when you haven't used those doors or sliders or hinges for several months, they tend to squeak and stick, right? Right, So right. this is really the perfect time to apply a little WD-40 product. I know I have a can in my house. You probably have someone, uh, a can under the kitchen sink or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, but, but they actually have a lot more than just that blue and yellow can. One of their more recent products is the WD-40 Specialist Spray and Stay Gel Lubricant. And it is perfect for moving parts. If you've ever uh, tried to spray a lubricant and then next thing you know, you have greasy residue all over the place, yes. this is the perfect solution. Its formula is no fling, no drip, and no mess. So you just spray the area that you need to lubricate, and that's it. It's the ultimate solution for vertical surfaces and moving parts like door hinges, sliding door tracks, and garage doors where the lubrication has to stay where you're trying to put it. And that's sold at all the big retailers, including Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, and many more. Yeah, WD-40, It's uh, it definitely comes in handy some days. It definitely comes in handy. I like it, though. It's yeah, and there are a lot of household uses for it. Sometimes a uh, stuck zipper, that's all you need. Yes, oh, I know. <laughs> I got my coat stuck a couple of months ago. I still can't get it out, so maybe I'll have to use a WD-40. <laughs> yeah, in winter in Pennsylvania, you don't want your coat zipper to be stuck. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not about that. I feel like I spend all my spring in the garden section, though, of those stores sprucing up my house. Is there any more outside tips that I should be thinking about, Elizabeth? Yeah, you know, when you go to such lengths to get some beautiful landscaping in your outdoor space, you need to make sure people see it, right? Right, of course. So as the temperature starts to warm up and everyone's spending more time outdoors and you're planting and doing all those things we were just talking about, here is a very simple way to add some style and beauty to that outdoor area, and it involves just a little light. Kitchler loves the living that happens in outdoor spaces. The One Light Outdoor Pendant from their Palisades collection not only adds light, but it's a casual, laid-back, boho chic vibe that transforms the look of patios, porches, gazebos, and much more. They have this one that I really love. It's, it's just looks like it was made for my back patio area and it's out of old bronze and natural wicker finish so it's one of those pieces that can kind of blend in with more traditional homes but looks good in modern spaces too and that simple upgrade just makes a huge difference it becomes a focal point for the entire space so 
Go ahead, Cody. Start planning your outdoor party. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> you can go to Kitchler.com for more information about that. Well, all these products sound great, Elizabeth. Is there a general place that we can check them all out? Absolutely, yes. I host a show called Ready, Set, Renovate, and we have a website. The address is readysetrenovate.net. That's all one word. And uh, if you click on my blog, you can hear more about exactly what we talked about. That sounds amazing. I'm all about it. <laughs> all right, Cody. Well, ha- happy spring, finally. Yeah, and thank you so much for stopping by and uh, chat with me today. Yeah, it was great to meet you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem at all. We'll talk to you later, Elizabeth. Thank you. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Cody. Yep. Bye.